Danny and Costa for Fight Magazine here with UFC middleweight Mark Munoz. Mark, the UFC middleweight division has uh, treated you kindly. Uh, how do you like being here and getting a fight with Yushin Okami, who is a perpetual contender? Man, it's, it's, it's an awesome opportunity to be able to, you know, fight Yushin. It's definitely an honor. He's top 10 in the world, and, you know, I want to get that spot. You know, I want to be a contender. And so he's going to get me a step closer to, to the top. Uh, you mentioned the, the top 10, you know, Okami's been ranked. This is a, a step up in competition for you. H have you prepared differently, or has it just been the same uh, training? Uh, it's been the same. You know, I feel that every fight that, that comes my way is the biggest fight of my career. You know, and Yushin is no different. He is the biggest fight of my career. So, you know, with a win over, with a win over Yushin, he's going to put me in the top 10 and in title contention, and that's where I want to go. Uh, there's a general air around this fight that it's a pick 'em fight you know you guys are both very evenly matched you know and and so what is going to separate you from Okami and, and get the win in here you know I, I think it's my my tenacity you know um, I'm relentless inside the octagon and I think it's I think it's just been ingrained in me ever since I started wrestling you know um, I have this aggression that that it's it's always going forward you know and I always put pressure on you. So I think that's the keys to the win. And so were you able to break down his clinch game and focus on that? Or was it something where you were just going about your training regularly? No, no. I was, I was definitely going with judo guys, mm -hmm. breaking it down, like, you know, countering the Uchimata, countering all the judo throws. You know, I've also been um, weaving in my wrestling win the clinch, you know. So, you know, going with Greco-Roman wrestlers. And, you know, I've, I've been preparing. I've been praying a lot, especially for Southpaw, because he is a Southpaw, mm -hmm. and I've been preparing solely for, for his style. Uh, you show something different, something new in every single one of your fights, uh, not giving any way anything in your fight, but what's going to be the, the, the big jump that you make uh, in progress? I think people will see the, the difference in my stand-up. Mm -hmm. yeah, I've been working, been working a lot on that. So, you know, uh, we'll see. You know, it's, you know, in my sparring, it's been feeling really, really good, and... Uh, you know, it's, you know, every time you step into the octagon is different, though, you know. So we'll see how my, in, how my instincts come into play on Sunday night. And being such a, a mellow and humble guy like yourself, how do you, how do you turn that switch on? I think, I think it's you wear different hats, you know. And I, and I believe that, you know, in, in the hats that you wear, you have to act accordingly, you know. And, you know, like I do, like I'm a father, I'm a, I'm a son, I'm a, I'm a husband, I'm a... You know, my friend, I'm not going to act like a like a UFC fighter in those roles, you know. So I think you're going to act different, you know. You know, j much like how a teacher would act, you know, in the classroom, how would he act at home? Different, you know. So, you know, I do turn on the switch. Once I step into the octagon, psh, I flip the switch, the switch is on, and I'm, you know, I'm, I'm the Filipino wrecking machine, you know. And so people gave me that nickname for, uh, uh, for that reason. And so what hat will you be wearing inside the octagon on uh, Sunday? Uh, dude, you're going to see a lot of sparks flying, you know, because I know Yushin's going to bring it, and I'm going to bring it as well, you know, so it's going to be an awesome fight. And last word for fans? Thank you for your support. I appreciate uh, just, you know, all the, all the you know, the, the text messages, all the, all the, you know, Facebook, Twitter messages. You guys are awesome. Uh, thank you to my sponsors. Thank you to my managers. Thank you to my training partners. Thank you to my family. I love you guys, and thank you for, thank you for your support. Mark Munoz.